Several years ago, Peace Parks Foundation, it's one of our collaborators, asked us to potentially facilitate the donation of two leopards from Karangani to Zanav National Park. And this last few weeks has been a sort of a culmination of that promise and that agreement. In theory, quite a simple task. Um, we've got a fairly healthy leopard population in Karangani. And uh, the idea was to find two leopards, a suitable male and a female, uh, put, capture them, put them in a boma. There's a bait about a, what, a K or one. So we're gonna, we're gonna go down to the bait and then and go then from, there. from there. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're about 162 out and we've got visual on your torch, all right? Uh, the reality is uh, you've got to really operate at the times that a leopard operates and that's predominantly nocturnal. So we, for almost 10 days, became entirely nocturnal. Don't get caught in between the boots and the cat. But is there any chance of darkening? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So everyone just stay here, keep your torches off. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Eventually, after about eight days, we caught, we caught the first male who was feeding off of a bait. Is it still in there? He's still there, still there. Uh, the animal's been darted and we're just waiting for it to, to go down. Uh, we'll call you in a second. Over. What do you see there, guys? It seems like he's sleeping. I think the drug worked. We'll just give it some time. Yeah, I want you to poke it with me. I'll go with you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Just don't put lights on his eyes, eh? Please. We then had to carry the leopard out about a kilometre back to the road and then uh, once stabilised, transport it back and release it into the holding bombers. starts with like-minded outcome. I mean, you, you know, we want to collaborate with people that have the same greater vision. You know, it's easy to ring fence yourself as a reserve and operate just within your boundaries. But it's important that you recognize the role that greater landscapes play. Are you giving a reversal? Yep. From a genetic gene flow, to historical migration patterns, sort of re-establishing a balance. And for that reason, you need like-minded operators, Karangani, Peace Parks, ANAC, the MWA, Endangered Wildlife Trust, they're all very um, pro-landscape restoration as opposed to individual reserves. And I think that's the key. Larry, you guys can come in, uh, the cat is in the tree. I'm not going to go in and sex it now, I'm going to wait for you guys to get here. I don't want to put uh, unnecessary pressure on the cat. Okay, guys, I'll be touching now, then we'll be Copy that. You see my light, you can just walk straight here. Is a adult female, right? Well, 
second leopard and a, a younger ideal age female. And this is a sort of culmination of about 10 days worth of hard working and so very chuffed that we've, we've got the leopards now and they'll be uh, put into the boma for the next few days and then moved over to Zanal. It's all about collaboration. It's all about leaving egos aside and working together. And and I think Mozambique is kind of a leader in that in that sense in the way that it does stuff because there's also isolated capacity. And so the, the key here is to to bring it all together and make it work. And it's possible. And you see, we've we've done it before. We've been doing it for a while. But we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do it without the Karingani team, without the MWA team, without Peace Parks and Anak looking after Zina, without you know, a pilot that's willing to 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 risk its own life uh, transporting a, um, a leopard under anesthesia for for two or three hours. So it's yeah, it's 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 collaboration. It's people believing in each other and sort of bringing up the best of each other and and just do it. It's a great day for Zanop, to be honest with you. Um, we now have the lion, the leopard, the buffalo, the elephant. So we're getting close to the big five. I think it's historical. It's part of, uh, I mean, you know, you, you can argue that you're restoring a national park if you don't bring the big stuff in. And last year we brought hyena, which was very cool, but a big cat is a big cat. And yeah, leopards are sort of a key mark for the restoration of, of Zinaf.